So in this problem, we're told to find f. And we're told that f triple prime of x is equal to the cosine of x. f of 0 is equal to 1. f prime of 0 is equal to 3. f double prime of 0 is equal to 8. So let's just start by writing what we're given. So we're told that f triple prime of x is equal to the cosine of x. And so what we're trying to find is f of x. So the antiderivative of f triple prime of x is going to be f double prime of x. And if we take the antiderivative of that, we'll get f prime of x. And if we take the antiderivative of f prime of x, we'll get f of x. That's what we're asking us for. So we got to find the antiderivative of all these first. So let's start with this one. So we need to find the antiderivative of cosine of x first. So the antiderivative of cosine of x is going to be sine of x plus c because the antiderivative of cosine of x is sine of x, and then we got to add our constant, which is c. And then now let's find f prime of x. We need to find the antiderivative of sine of x, which is minus cosine of x. And then the antiderivative of a constant is just going to be the constant times whatever variable, so x. This is going to be plus cx because c just represents a constant. Then we got to add a new variable, which we're going to represent by d. You have to add a constant afterwards whenever you take the antiderivative. And then we'll find f prime of x, so the antiderivative of minus cosine of x is going to be minus sine of x, because the antiderivative of cosine of x is sine of x, and the minus sign. And then so the antiderivative of c of x, well this is just c times the antiderivative of x, which will just become x will become x to the 2 over 2 because we just add 1, so this is just x to the 1 plus 1 is 2 over 2 times c. So we're going to have c times x to the 2, x to the 2 over 2, then plus, and then we have a constant, so we just add our variable after it, so it's going to become plus dx, but then we have a new variable, so we got to add e because we're taking the antiderivative of a function. Now that we got all these laid out, what we can do is just Given what we have, we can solve for c, d, and e. We gotta find what c equals, we gotta find what d equals, and then we gotta find what e equals. So let's start with c. So we're told that f double prime of x is equal to the sine of x plus c, and we're told that f double prime of 0 is equal to 8. So if we use this formula, we say that f double prime of 0 is equal to 8. So 8 is gonna be equal to the sine of 0 plus c. Sine of 0 is just 0 plus c, so it's just gonna be 0 plus c is just c so 8 is going to be equal to c so c equals 8 and then now what we want to solve for is f prime of x or we're solving for d but we're going to use f prime of x so we know that f prime of 0 is equal to 3 so if we use this formula 3 is going to be equal to when this is equal to 0 so minus cosine of 0 cosine of 0 is going to be 1 so this is minus 1 plus c which is 8 times 0 which is just going to be 0 plus d so essentially we just have 3 equals minus 1 plus d. So if we add 1, both sides will get d equals 4. So we know that d equals 4 now. Then all we got to do is solve for e. We're going to use this right here. So we know that f of 0 is equal to 1. So 1 is going to be equal to the sine of 0, or minus sine of 0, which is just 0, plus c, 8, times 0 squared over 2, which is just 0, so plus 0. Then d, which is 4, times 0 is just 0, um, and then plus e. And so basically e is just going to be equal to 1. Alright, nice. Now we got all of our variables. What we're going to have to do is just um, plug everything in. So let's do that. So f of x is going to be equal to minus sine of x plus c, which is 8 times x squared over 2, so that's just going to be 4x squared, plus d, which is 4, times x, plus e, and we know that e is 1. So our final answer to this question is going to be minus sine of x plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 1.